Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of January general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Capricorns, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was I Just Can't Stop Loving You by Michael Jackson. I'll leave a link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, in the hook of the song, he says, I just can't stop loving you. I just can't stop loving you. And if I stop, then tell me just what will I do? I just can't stop loving you. I'm definitely feeling like you guys have somebody who is from your past, a recent ex. I'm getting recent. Like a recent ex who was just in denial about this ending. And, I, you know, it's very weird the way I heard it. It was a little eerie. I'm not going to lie to you. What I heard was they won't be able to continue living like this or living this way. Now, it doesn't mean that this person could be suicidal, but they could be telling you that they're suicidal and they literally don't want to live with you. I'm not claiming that. I'm just saying I'm putting it out there because that, that is the vibe that I got. When I heard it was very eerie, right? Somebody could literally be saying, like, I can't live without you. I just won't do it. I can't do it. I can't see life without you. I'm, I'm getting that. But for someone else, I just feel like this person is in denial. They refuse to believe that it's over. Again, this could be some uh, ex or you could be feeling like this also, but I'm feeling very strongly. Like somebody in this situation is like they, they can't believe it's over and they're, they refuse to believe that it's over. Okay. Mr. Michael Jackson was a Virgo. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus individual or something, an ending that happened in Virgo season of last year would have been August, September. Yeah, August, September is Virgo season. So you would know how this resonates for your situation, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is the devil. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Three of Wands looking towards the future. New relationship coming in. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Ten of Pentacles. And I want you to see there's a couple there. And there's somebody watching this couple. That's why I'm saying you see over him, there's an upside to wow, that's crazy. And I said pentacles. <laughs> and Virgo, right? Michael Jackson was a Virgo, and that's pentacles. Yeah. And 10 talks about endings. So that's what I'm saying. Something ended, and somebody is still watching somehow, keeping tabs on you, realizing that you have moved on into a new relationship, possibly with a fire sign, Leo Sash Aries. Um, but whatever the case, if you notice, there's an upside down home over this person who's watching what's going on in their situation. So somebody is watching, keeping tabs, or has found out that you moved on, or you found out someone moved on. And I feel like there's heartbreak associated with that. Somebody's salty as hell, I can tell you that much. Okay? So bottom of the deck, you can, wow. You just had the Ten of Pentacles, now you got the Ten of Wands. Carrying a heavy load, carrying a heavy burden. This is weighing heavy on this person for sure. Something definitely with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, or Aries. This is like, whatever this situation is, this is weighing heavy on someone. It's like they're trying to move forward, but it's, it's like hard. It's very hard for this person to move forward. I know it's kind of weird, but you never know. Somebody's favorite color could be brown or somebody could be very dark in complexion. I'm getting that also. Someone's spirit animal could definitely be the deer. I'm getting that as well, Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the deck. You got the Hermit. Wow, that is crazy. I said Michael Jackson is a Virgo. And you got Major Arcana, the Hermit, Virgo. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Virgo in a situation. Either the ex. Wow, holy shit. You got Nine of Pentacles, single woman, single man. But also this could be September Virgo. Wow, okay. So either your person or their ex. Somebody in this situation is a Virgo. I can say that right now. You got Justice Libra energy here. It's a, see, I'm, I'm getting like this is a hard pill for someone to swallow. He's not reaching out for that cup. He Somebody's not ready. You see, he's not accepting it. He's not accepting that cup. Somebody's having a very hard time accepting that something is over. Look at that. That ship, relationship is struck by lightning. I'm telling you, somebody who has earth in their chart, very strong uh, Virgo, this person is having a very difficult time accepting that something is over. Again, this could have been something that happened in Virgo season last year. Oh, yeah. This person is having a hard time accepting it. Major Arcana Judgment card, you know? It's like they're fighting it. They want a reconciliation. This person's first, middle, or last <laughs> initial could be C, G, O, M, W, J, or T. Also X. This person's having a hard time laughing because hmm, I'm just feeling like this person is going to try to reach out. 
and they're gonna try to act look at this this angel's face looks very unbothered this person's gonna try to reach out and act like very unbothered like they don't care whether you've moved on or not but so then why are you reaching out to me why are you connecting with me you know i, I really feel like that is the case is what i'm getting here okay so we're gonna go through the deck until we get your major arcana the devil card and the card that comes before and the card that comes after for capricorn sun moon rising venus individuals yep i'm hearing the song real loud now i just can't stop loving you and if i stop then tell me just what will i do like this person feels lost they feel lost so right in front of your major arcana you have the major arcana well, again here go that damn virgo okay virgo and gemini with the magician okay there's you and then you have the king of pentacles towards virgo capricorn six of swords like this person it, it's like they're refusing like she's moving forward but not willingly, okay? If you look at it, the swords are down. Sword up is yes, sword down is no. So, like, this person's moving on, but, again, this is, like, a very slow movement. You see, it's look at that boat. It's going to take a while for you to get to your destination in that damn boat. Ain't no boat on it or nothing. So, it's like this person is really struggling to move on from you. So, again, you have the magician, and then you have the king of pentacles. Somebody could definitely be, you know, really messed up because there was some solid, or at least it seemed to be, very solid roots in a situation. Somebody has set roots with someone and they're trying to manifest this person back. You're trying to manifest somebody back or somebody's trying to manifest you back. Strong. I, I keep telling you, there's some strong associated with Virgo. You got Virgo and Gemini there with the, excuse me, with the magician. And then, you know, this is a minor. It's typically associated with Taurus, but it could be Virgo also because it's Pentacles. So, so Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, your energy. Ten of Wands again. So that's what I'm saying. It's hard for somebody to move on. They're trying everything they can to move on. But it's like it just keeps hitting them in their face. Because remember, before you had the Ten of Wands, it was on his back. Now, it's right in front of them. Like, this person's trying to move on with their life. But it's like everywhere they look, they're seeing things that remind them of you. Or vice versa. Okay? But there's definitely some type of ending. Ten of numerology talks about something wrapping up. Something coming to finality here. As we part the deck, you got three of pentacles, building, establishing, working together again towards Virgo Capricorn energy. You know, there could have been an ending, okay? A very heavy ending because it's like a contract, an ending of a, this could be like a divorce. Um, you know, you guys could have had a lease together, like, you know, bought a home, bought a condo, apartment, something like that where you guys had some type of contractual agreement with each other i'm kind of getting like this like wanting to break a lease wanting to end something and this is very heavy on someone or just overall look yeah and i just seen the two cups so that's confirmation a karmic contract a relationship contract coming to an end and somebody is definitely like really hurt yeah oh yeah taurus again okay major iconic the hair font that's one half of a divine counterpart traditional unions this person's stuck in their ways taurus energy is fixed so this person was very stuck in their ways. I'm also getting like this is like a mediator or somebody who's mediated over the situation. There's definitely property here that someone shared. Even if it was just an apartment, you know, you got two people on a lease or something like that. Or they miss the fact that they were, you guys once lived with each other. Like they miss, they don't want to live alone. Like they're having a hard time living alone because even though he's a king, He's sitting on his own. You don't see his person on their throne next to him. So this is this person doesn't like being single. They got a taste of it and they don't like the flavor. Let's get a quick look at that. A divorce or separation. You got the king of pentacles here and the queen of pentacles in reverse. Anytime you have kings and queens in reverse, they have been stripped of their title, dethroned, made to feel small, um, lacking power. Kings and queens hold position of power and hierarchy. In reverse, it's like somebody has lost their position. Here you go again with that nine. You guys could be seeing nines a lot. You could have been in a relationship with someone for nine years. You could have been separated from someone for nine weeks to nine months. Bottom of the deck, you have the queen of wands. So that's what I'm saying. Somebody's seeing you move on, okay? <laughs> Leo, Sag, Aries. You just had a queen of pentacles in reverse, and now you had a queen of wands upright. Somebody's moving on. And I feel like this person somehow, either social media, or if you guys had mutual friends, or they're still close with your family or something like that, they're finding out that you moved on. And they ain't liking it. They ain't feeling that at all. Okay. That's going to clarify for the magician, for Capricorn, someone rising Venus. Yep. You guys have moved on to a new love. Absolutely. And then you have the page of cups here. Yeah. See, look at this. And then look, they're even facing each other. So some of you guys have definitely moved on. Some of you all, I definitely feel like it's involving a Virgo Taurus, Can't Spice Scorpio, Strong Leo also. 
a lot of y'all have manifested a new love interest for sure. The Knight of Cups is your knight in shining armor, your knight or princess shining armor, somebody who comes in and sweeps you off your feet. This person could definitely be younger than you, or you could be younger than this person. Somebody's younger here. I just heard eight by eight years for somebody, not all, but I'm see, yeah, because I'm just thinking about this. You see how you had an infinity symbol sideways that's eight. Somebody could be eight years younger than someone. Someone's birthday could be in August also. They could be an August Virgo. Because again, you got Virgo energy there. And then you have the King of Pentacles um, with the Page of Cups. Pages are always messengers coming in with some type of communication. If you're single, completely single, you're going to meet somebody that is like marriage material. Because this is like coming in. You get what I'm saying? You'll meet somebody in Pisces season. I'm not getting like Cancer. I'm getting Pisces season, which is February, March. Some of you guys are getting ready to meet somebody new in Pisces season. You may meet them when they're out and about celebrating their birthday. So they can be a Pisces also. If you're single, but I feel like overall what I'm getting is somebody did something they downgraded also. You got a king, then a page. That's a downgrade. Even here you got the knight. So somebody definitely downgraded and they or they're, they're accusing you of downgrading since you left them. Again, I'm definitely getting somebody is younger, and then I'm definitely getting that somebody is feeling like they downgraded or they're accusing you of downgrading, like they feel like they were the better option. Which clearly they weren't, or else you guys would still be together, right? You know? But it just seems like you all are going in a different direction. It just seems like the direction you're going in is towards new love, or new, you know, new love is coming in your direction. And it does seem like a past person is salty as hell. Like, again, I just can't stop loving you. And see, that's what they could be coming in telling you. Like, I I'm going to always love you. I, I haven't gotten over you. A page is a messenger. You know what I mean? Like, they're, uh, somehow they're going to come in and tell you. But again, I'm going to say, I always say this with the Page of Cups, because Cups is your emotions and feelings. Pages are young, youthful. They still have some growing to do. This person could have been very emotionally immature. And that's what caused some type of ending there, because they were very emotionally immature. And now, you know, they got to sit with it. They got to deal with it. And they're not ready to deal with that. That's, that's causing them some type of anxiety or pain here. They could be quite embattled because of that. But this is their own doing, to be honest with you. Even if you left this person, you left them for good reason, at least in, in your eyes. But this person wasn't ready to move on. Uh, they're definitely in their feelings. You got two, you're both of your clarifiers are cups in there up right there in their feelings big time. Big time there in their feelings. Okay? So Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the visuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.